Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Now let's move to the various uh, departments within investment bank. Uh, the first and most important to start with is a research department and uh, when we talk about research uh, their job is primarily to come out with uh, buy sell recommendations on stocks from the long time uh, long term perspective and uh, the idea here is that they should be able to advise their clients on whether the client should buy or sell these stocks from the stock markets. So the first question that we will actually try and answer here is what exactly is research? Since uh, when we talk about research, it's all about uh, from the fundamental analysis, doing the uh, ratio analysis, doing a lot of valuations, free cash flow to the firm, talking about relative valuations. So what exactly is research and uh, how do they really help in making money? There's a second question that we'll try and answer here. And then uh, so for whose consumption are we creating research? Um, I mean, they, they are basically clients and one of the large set of clients are asset management companies or AMCs. So we'll try to see what AMCs are all about. And uh, when we talk about research on one side and AMCs and institutional investors on the other side or clients on the other side, we say that one is a sell side and other is a buy side. So it is also equally important as a newcomer to understand the difference between a buy side and a sell side. So that's what we will try and do. Let's in first and foremost start with an understanding of what is research. So let us now look at uh, the overall workings of the brokerage or the research department. So what exactly is their job uh, within an investment bank? So essentially what they do is they perform stock research. What do we understand by stock research? We can call this as company research as well. And uh, uh, company research would mean that look at uh, the fundamentals of the company, go through the annual reports, identify you know whether the company is doing good or bad from the fundamental point of view, look at the future and come up with a buy sell recommendation on the stock. So essentially we are saying that uh, uh, do the valuation analysis on the company and uh, recommend the buy sell uh, of the stocks. So uh, these stocks recommendations are being uh, done for various kinds of clients including pension fund managers, portfolio managers, retail investors and uh, once uh, they are okay with it, the clients actually give orders to execute a buy or a sell through the sales and trading department. We'll see you know how this actually functions in a minute but uh, let me ask you a question here. Who are the clients? As we as we understood that the clients could be pension fund managers or uh, uh, you know portfolio managers, uh, but clients can take different uh, you know names altogether or could be of different kinds. Think about the clients who come from uh, the background of being an individual. Say so they don't represent any organization. So let's say you and me. I may want to invest in um, Microsoft stock. Uh, so I am an individual investor so essentially I have money let's assume that and I can invest small amounts of money in, in through my account that is one class of investors these are called as retail or individual investors but please note that when we talk about investment bank providing research services we're talking about uh, guys who are major investors something like high net worth individuals who have millions and millions in uh, in the bank account and would like you know someone professional to manage that so for them these are the major investors they could be institutional investors so what do we understand by institutional investors think about an institution so a mutual fund a mutual fund is nothing but a fund or portfolio or uh, you know created uh, by a public uh, through an organization so the, I mean these these pool of uh, funds are then invested in certain mandate as uh, defined in the investment policy of the mutual fund likewise the, the, the institutional investors could be companies you know large companies having large uh, balance sheets in cash they want to invest in uh, different stocks so you know they have a large war chest as such for investments likewise pension funds or uh, you know if you want to extend that that could be apart from pension funds it could be insurance companies it could be banks so institutional investors are large you know investment powerhouses who invest in large quantum so when we talk about investment banks investment banks are uh, the research department typically cater to the needs of institutional investors they may not 
cater to the needs of uh, you and me that is the individual investors so let me now just give you a brief uh, about you know how a financial model actually looks like and what is the actual job of an analyst uh, within the research firm so as I was talking about uh, that while the investment banks uh, research department prepares uh, different kinds of uh, you know analysis what they uh, their main job is to actually do a financial modeling exercise where uh, they analyze the historicals of the companies and uh, you know see their margins and you know uh, talk about the fundamentals but they also forecast and they come up with you know forecast numbers of uh, income statements balance sheets as well as cash flows and if you look at uh, you know forecasting techniques these are your know, very professional techniques and uh, it takes a lot of time for uh, someone to kind of build these set of models and uh, at the end of the day there is one single objective that they want to come up with a, a share price of the stock that is uh, the fundamental price here let's say in this case if if the analyst had applied a discounted cash flow technique the share price actually came out to be around 87 dollars per share that was a fair price so depending on what the share price comes using these valuation models research analysts recommend the target price and uh, after making this models actually they prepare a research report for the clients so we had discussed about who the clients are but this is how they actually prepare the research report doing financial modeling forecasting doing valuations doing peer analysis and then giving out the research reports to these uh, investors with this understanding of research let us now move forward and look at how do they really make money now let me ask you a question that when we talk about an investment bank an integrated investment bank we earlier said that uh, you know there's a research department within the investment bank and we also have the sales and trading department so there are other departments as well but the one which we are interested in as of now for the point of view of discussion are these two now the question here is that how do these guys make money we know that there are other set of departments which includes m a ipo etc so we'll come to those discussions later but for the timing let's concentrate here so uh, as we have discussed in our earlier videos that research are the guys who give buy and sell recommendations right buy and sell recommendations to the clients so when we talk about clients you know here we have clients and clients can be divided into two types you know we said that there are individual investors like you and me and then we have the institutional investors what these guys in the research side are doing is actually you know they are preparing recommendations right so they're preparing reports in the format of recommendations and they are advising clients on whether they should buy or sell so uh, as my question was that how do they make money uh, do you uh, do you foresee a possibility that these reports come with some price tag or uh, you know let's say dollar hundred per report or dollar two hundred per report and they sell it directly to the clients is it or the earning channel from this client is slightly different now uh, uh, if, if you want to uh, see what the real answer is assuming and if we uh, if we assume that uh, these reports are actually paid reports then we would be assuming wrong these reports are not paid reports in fact in most cases they are given for free so when we talk about giving these reports which are you know prepared after doing some heavy analysis uh, referring to a lot of databases spending time it involves money right and it is eventually given it for free so how do this whole process uh, actually works as a money making entity so what happens is let's say if you are a uh, technology analyst and let's assume that you 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 used to cover Microsoft okay and uh, for that you have given a buy recommendation now that you are in discussion with one of the mutual funds and uh, this mutual fund actually uh, got excited with your story about how and why Microsoft is a buy now uh, with this um, mutual fund would be excited to actually buy this stock 
maybe one reason is that uh, the things or the elements which you have looked at in terms of research were overlooked by other research houses and now mutual fund is kind of convinced that uh, this is a strong buy so what they will do is essentially they will they want to own this stock now so they will ultimately let's say give a possibility of buying Microsoft shares to an extent of dollar 10 million so how will these trades get executed 10 million or 20 million or 30 million 100 million so this mutual fund do you think that they will go into the open market and find the sellers of uh, Microsoft no they will not do that this is not what they will do they will actually approach the same investment bank to execute the trade for them so the execution responsibility again lies with the brokerage firm but research guys are not capable or are not made for executing the trade so that's where the entity called sales and trading comes into picture so here sales and trading department which we will again discuss this in a bit more detail later but uh, for the time being assume that let's say there's a dollar 10 million that needs to be bought for this mutual fund it will be done through this sales and trading department and on this basically the brokerage house or the investment bank will charge commissions so let's assume one percent two percent etc now this is how the research guys are actually make making money for the investment bank and uh, why uh, probably the sales and trading guys are needed to execute this we'll discuss that in our next video tutorial now that we have understood pretty much in a shell that uh, you know uh, research departments make money indirectly through the clients the clients can be of various types like institutional investors and one of them being asset management companies